You join me, Dominic Moore, reporting for Channel 9 News at the Temple of Omicron, home of the Ayanatura tribe. The nation is in mourning. Devastation and sorrow has swept across the nation following the tragic news of the death of our Queen and Prince in ill-fated circumstances. Here, the tribe leader and guru Artemis, who recently had a much publicised friendship with Prince Hippolytus, has held a special ceremony prior to the state funeral. Here, in the Ayen Natura tribe, we regard ourselves as a family. Today, we lost a brother. Because of the nature of our tribe, the deeds of ill-willed perpetrators wounded us deeply. But through prayer and lament, our wounds will heal. And Hippolytus's soul will continue to thrive and live on in the spiritual world. Queen Phydra walked upon this earth alongside us and showed great generosity and support to our tribe. And with kindness and devotion, she supported our community. She shone brightly in this universe, untainted by the corruption that tried to seduce her. We feel her pain. We bear the burden together, and we together shall pray and mourn for her soul. Members of the Ainatura tribe have paid their respects to their fallen brother Hippolytus. Here are their dedications, the voices of mourners. Hippolytus was a dear friend who will be missed forever. He was taken from us before his time, and I hope that his pure soul will inspire others. I am devastated by the sudden loss of such a well-loved brother. He was so loyal to us, and I will never forget him and all that he has done for me. Hippolytus was a brother, friend, teacher, and a believer. In this temple, his status never became him. He was always true to himself, and that's what made him unique. The cause of deaths have been widely speculated, but the main line of inquiry has fallen upon the well-known public figure, Aphrodite, founder of Club Afro, whose followers today have marked the deaths of our country's monarchs by burning an effigy during a 24-hour rave. Some people may ask, is this a respectful way to say goodbye to these iconic royal figures? Club Aphrodite is a destroyer of so many lives. Their blatant attack on our king and queen was outrageous. I hope for all our sakes that Aphrodite is brought to justice. To have experienced the corruption of our opposing world, I know the depths to which they will venture in their journey of destruction. I am disgraced by their horrific behaviour and can only hope that they may see the errors of their ways. I'm now standing here outside the tribe's living compounds. King Theseus is still yet to release a statement, but is said to be in a state of extreme shock and sorrow. It is speculated that his first public appearance will be at the state funeral. As we understand from the Iron Natura, the funeral will be a private and low profile event and has asked that the media kindly respect the grieving family and community. It is now reported that the king has been struck with a tremendous remorse for his actions of banishing his son and is filled with grief for his wife, Phydra, and her suicidal actions. Today, we see the beginnings of a community starting to heal the nation's broken family. We now have the Ainatura tribe leading us into a moment of silent prayer and respect for the two fallen souls and for our broken nation. Now, more than ever, we need to learn to live together. These consequences are the result of two incompatible worlds colliding. 